Oh my god. What's up guys? It's Elsie Funny here and I'm with one of my good friends, Caitlin. So we don't know exactly what we're doing, but we're just gonna like drive around and have some fun. So Caitlin, you're on phone patrol because every time we I go out and like drive, it always fucking falls off. So fun stuff. Fun stuff, yeah. Well tell us how you been girls. It's gonna be a drive with me. Uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I, I, I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's camera shy. Oh, should we go this road? Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, I told you. Great. See, this is why she's phone patrol. Well, it's been a year since we hung out. So let's start. Yeah. Here. Oh yeah. Last time we hung out was like in the summer, and we've done some crazy shit. Like go to a hotel, right? We broke into a resort at like midnight. Both two of them. Exactly. Yeah, two resorts. And then we had a yeah. Then we had like a private freaking pool to ourselves. And then we realized there was a couple there. Yeah, it was pretty awkward. <laughs> it was. It was like oh, we got the whole damn place to ourselves. Yeah. And then we turned around and there was other people there. And we were like, oh. Dude, man, it was freaking fun. Like how we did it was like. Well, we just pretended that like we were like one of their because we had some we had name brand clothes we actually looked like rich people but we weren't and like they're saying oh Liana you're adopted and I'm like yeah so that's how we got in me and my ex girlfriend were like yeah we adopted you yup <laughs> and this is this is like the second time someone's called me adopted because I went to like this one theme park for like free because one of my friends worked there and they were like well well you're adopted now I'm like sure I'm like the one brown friend so <laughs> yeah. I'm not from the nobody cares about anymore. <laughs> True. Oh, I care about you, bro. Okay, Caitlin, hold the phone. Hold it. Let's go. Up close and personal. <laughs> how are you guys? Oh, okay. Oh, look at the little boy. <laughs> You're looking like at K-pop star. So I was gonna tell you something. Anyway, I, I don't do drugs, but I, they found Xanax in my pee a couple of days ago. Um, I was just doing my thing, you know, and then I needed to use the bathroom, right? So then I had to pee, and it took like three fucking hours. And to pee? Yes, to pee. Something was wrong with me. And I don't know, I just kept getting headaches and shit. I went to the doctor. It turns out I had a urinate tract infection. And I never had that in my life. And like she was just saying, oh, there's possible ways to get it. Like, uh, pretty sit sitting in the back or having sex. And I'm like, I never had sex. So then my, do my family doctor's like, yeah, Leanna, I know you would do that. Wow. <laughs> she can't think I'll get a man. My mom thought I was pregnant like two weeks ago. There's so many pregnant girls in our school, you have no idea. Well, what, what she used to be in my school. Yeah. But yeah, she about that homeschool life. So. Well, she gave me some pills to take. And one of them was like the drug or whatever. But I didn't know what kind of one. So I took that for like a week. And then I started feeling bad. So yeah, I've been feeling really bad. Uh, I got like lots of pressure on my head and shit. I felt depressed. Like there was like so many moods that I never thought I had that like were happening and I was freaking out telling my parents. So my parents made me wear this tinfoil hat and I can't really explain the meaning of it because it's like a Spanish thing, but like it helps with like negative vibes and stuff. And it did help. I can't explain it, I'm sorry. But when I, then I decided to go to the hospital because you know, I felt bad. The tinfoil hat wasn't working. <laughs> no, but it helped with the depression though. But yeah, so I went and talked to one of the nurses and like, they're like, I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I can't help you with that. And then, and then like another person went in the room that I was in, the hospital. Uh, and then I explained to them what happened. Oh wait, I, I can't help you. I'm a nurse. I just, I just work on the like, computers and shit. And then another lab person came in, which I thought was a doctor. And I explained again. They're like, Oh wait, I'm the lab assistant. The doctor's gonna come here shortly. And I was like, Where is the doctor? Is there no doctors at this hospital? Like, do I have to diagnose myself? Because that's what I've been doing on Google. <laughs> Legit, like when I went to the doctor before they prescribed me those pills and stuff, I was like, I maybe have a urinary tract infection because that's what I found on Google. And then the doctor said, Yeah, you're correct. So look at that. I don't even go to med school because I actually know so what you have on Google will show up. So yeah, so the lab assistant person made me take like a blood sample and a pee sample. So I had a pee in a cup. And when I first peed in the cup, I dropped it in the toilet. Because I couldn't like hold it like if this was happening. I know, it's so freaking bad. And well, my my blood was okay. I was fine. I wasn't gonna die. But and then like the doctor slash nurse came in and she was like, well, you have Xanax in your pee. And I was like, what? Why did you get Xanax though? I don't know. It just, it was weird. I'd never done drugs in my life. I told that doctor, I was like, I've never done drugs. 
drugs in my life. And then my mom looked at me, she's like, what, what's that? Like, Danny's? Yeah, she didn't know what that was. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, she probably would have if, if it had a Spanish name, you know? But like, since she didn't know what the name was, I was like, oh, it's a drug. My mom just looked at me like, Liana. <laughs> I was like, mom, I did not do anything. And then she started blaming it on my friends. So I went to eat my friends last week. And then my mom thought, you yeah, maybe your friends put something in your drink? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Are you serious? Who were they again? I can't, oh, I'll bleep it out. I went yeah. to the bathroom. Would it surprise me? They were backstabbers <laughs> to the max, just gonna say. But wouldn't like, like drugs in your system, wouldn't it be like the first day, you know, like you feel something or how would that yeah, work? Danny's take a while to pop it. Are well, you serious? Danny's take like an hour, hour and a half. Exactly, so I didn't feel anything in an hour and a half. So I was fine that It week. might have been, were you drinking soda? Yeah. It might have dissolved, you might have had a delayed reaction. Be serious. Okay, okay, I'm gonna explain another thing. So when I didn't take that pill, I was fine. Like completely fine. So I told my mom, you know what, I can, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take another one. Then that's when I started feeling bad. So I'm pretty sure it's just the pills, dude. Wait, where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> we're just driving around. I'm gonna go to McDonald's first. Sure. So yeah, so anyway, back to the story. Um, they were like, yeah, you don't have the urinary tract infection no more. Legit, uh, you're supposed to only take those pills for like uh, three days only since you're a minor. And taking more of them would be worse. So, yeah. I was struck. <laughs> story time. <laughs> what are you doing now, Kate? It was upside down. Uh, you know what? It's all, I'll edit it on my movie. Fuck, there's so many freaking holes. <laughs> Whoops, it was upside down. I have one job and I couldn't even do that. I have one job and I couldn't even do that. I have one job and I couldn't even do that. Caitlin, you said you had one job but you showed two fingers. What the fuck? Oh my god. Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Caitlin! Why the fuck would you? At least it wasn't my phone, so that's all that matters. My phone is fucking cracked. Like, I need to get a new iPhone XS. Not to sound like rich or anything, because I'm not, okay? I got it on Black Friday. Oh my god. Ready for a story time? Yes. So, we're, I'm gonna call it a meatball. Meatball came over one night. Meatball? He, he has an iPhone X. He yes. had an iPhone X forever, okay? He was like one of the first people to get one. Yeah. And so he came over and he was drunk. Oh my god, okay? So I was watching his phone and I was like, okay, whatever, I'll watch your phone. Like, you're drunk. I don't want you to have your phone. Like, you're okay, text anyone. Mm -hmm. So I dropped his phone yeah. on a concrete floor, face down. Face I down, X, okay? Uh -huh. And I'm like, dude, if anyone finds out, he's gonna kill me, okay? Yeah. I'm doing to my other friend, Meatball Number Two. I'm like, dude, if Meatball remembers this, we're gonna tell him that he was drunk and he drove himself. But thank God, nothing happened to the phones. Like Meatball Number One and Two were fine. Okay. Ooh, bruh. Oh shit. Oh my God, what was with the fucking holes? I swear, our town, nothing goes right. Like, legit, me and Esmeralda talked about this earlier, but the, no one, like, legit, when it comes to, like, fixing stuff, our town doesn't do shit. There's holes all over the place. I feel like I'm in a foreign country. I would know. Eyebrow. And, yeah. Damn, dude. So he never found out. So if he watches this video, Bucks. I call the people, <laughs> he's not gonna know. <laughs> True. What other things should we talk about? Cause we're gonna have a mood bond, I think, right? Um, Are we gonna do it in there or just in here in the car? Do you wanna do it in there or do you wanna do it? I mean, I get a discount if we go in. Let's go in. <laughs> I'm not passing on a free opportunity on free food. Oh shit. Kaylin, hold the phone. We're not dropping this again. Woo, okay. Okay, let me find a good place to park. Cause your honey can't park. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, we're good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we're good.